Okay, here we go. So the idea of this is that I just kind of want to show you literally what I do. I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to embarrass myself because I know some of the conversations I have, and especially Kim, she's going to be like, I can't believe you say that. But I do. All right. I won't be surprised. No, I guess you won't be surprised. <laughs> okay. So, and I want to tell you something too, since I've been back, I have honestly really slacked on my invites, but by slacking, I'm at SC8 and I'm not bragging. I'm just telling you I'm at SC8 and signed a coach. And I truly believe that is because I've had such a strong pipeline. So it was able to be like a follow up from someone I've asked 750 times that I guess I lucked out and they said yes, kind of thing. One was a lead. One was a lead that I've been really trying to focus on reaching out to them. I will text them, I will email them, and I will also look for them on Facebook. And a lot of times I can't find them, but I've really made that diligent effort because leads used to never get back to me, ever, like ever, 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 ever. But I've really tried to focus on what I'm saying. And so what I can do really quick before I share my screen, because this is the girl, she had gotten the all access, like the one year, and we started talking. and. Um, so we started talking, I should share this with you, but I'll give you a really, this is what I said to her, April 5th. Hi, Erica, my name is Christine and I'm your free team Beachbody coach. When you place an order, they provide you a point of contact. I can answer a simple question, help with goals, etc. I'm so excited to see you got the all annual access. It is so awesome. Are you on Facebook? I like to put a face to the name. I also run online support groups as well. The peer support, oh, I said supper. The peer supper makes a world of difference. I look forward to hearing from you. Okay, so, and I tweak that sometimes. I always go and look for what they ordered. Okay, to make it personal as far as if someone did the 30 day free trial, have you tried out a workout? You know, if they did the Shakeology sampler, I always say Shakeology is my jam. Yes, I say that, Shakeology is my jam. So then she got back to me, okay? Two toddlers, work full time, hard to find time to go to the gym. I actually tried yoga retreat. So we've been going back and forth, back and forth. I asked her about Shakeology. Her husband's a nutritionist, so he wanted to look into it. You know, and then I get in there, and I'm just like, then he would love this. So I said, share this video with him. She told me she drinks the GNC Lean 25 shakes. I'm like, may I share a blog post with you? And it's when Shay compares the two. All right, so I just kept the conversation going. And a couple days would go by, and I'm just like, hey, I sent her a strawberry sample. I shared the Shay things with him. And I just, did you get it? Did you like it? I shared a couple recipes. Um, so it took from April 5th until we just upgraded her two days ago. But it's because I just kept the dialogue going because she actually wrote back. Okay, so that's just one that was all text, but I did send her an email too. Okay, so, oh gosh, here we go. All right. How do I get new message? No, not new message. How do I get new messages? See, like, I don't Can even I ask you a question? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. You muted yourself. <laughs> yes, go ahead. She's frozen. Hey, so how do you like, okay. Uh, how about now? Am I any better? Yeah, you're good. Any better? Mm -hmm. Okay. So how do you start? You just texted all that. That wasn't on instant message. It was an email. That was a text. That was a text. Okay. Cause you're I've never texted. Oh no, no. I've text never first. texted a lead. Text first. Really? And that is there's lead training in the coach online office very short videos that talk about that. Okay, okay. So here's another one. Um, and just so we can catch up with my, cause I've got some newer coaches on here. Leads happen when the company gives you customers who sign up through beachbody.com have no specific coach and you only get those when you become an Emerald, correct? You have to be Emerald and you have to hit success club. Ooh, okay, perfect. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you have to hit success club. So if you hit five, you get customer leads. If you hit above 10, you get, um, Kim, how's it work? I always forget. You get Shakeology leads you above 10. Shakeology leads. Okay. Perfect. So and that's what actually what happened. I did get two success club points from someone that ordered before and then got the auto ship. Those are the best. When you get okay. two points, you're like, what the heck? Um, okay. Um, Christine. Yes, sir, or ma'am. <laughs> you said you sent her a video, a Shakeology video. Which one do you like to send? I always send How Healthy Is Your Shake. Oh, okay. Tony Hortons. I think I shared that in the page before. Um, it And that was in the Shakeology surge, 
I had never seen that before. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is the best thing ever. Mm -hmm. It's eight minutes long. It's seven minutes, 45 seconds. Can you tell I've watched it a lot? And, um, but I feel like when people are actually really interested and have an inkling of nutrition, nutritional yeah. knowledge, I will share that because it, I have a new a, a coach. She signed up last year and I sent her that. She's like, Oh my gosh. Okay. And something else while I'm on that, something you can do for your challengers that I did the week before last is I did a mini challenge that day and I, it was the last podcast for Shakeology. And I'm like, whoever watches this and gives me their takeaways, I will put you in a drawing for something. I can't remember what it was. I did something, maybe samples of Shakeology um, or like a little gift. And they were so, even though they know Shakeology, they were so fascinated by that podcast. And that was 11 minutes long. Um, so that was something I did too. Okay. Um, so here's an example too. I sent basically that same, okay, here's something I started adding too. Now this girl did not get back to me. Um, but I, I've been asking them what made you decide to try beach body? Hmm. Right. I never thought of that either. You guys, I pulled this stuff out of my butt, but I don't know what made me think because they signed up for a reason. You know what I'm saying? And like the lady that blocked me, I, I sent her a text. She started telling me her life story. We got on Facebook and she was telling me she's diabetic. I mean, her, it was crazy what her doctor was telling her to do. Anyways, because I kept asking questions that she finally blocked me within about a five hour period. But I asked her why she tried Shakeology and it got her to open up. And I don't think she liked what I had to say because it, it was hard. You know what I'm saying? Like she had a lot of weight to lose and I was, so anyways, but like, so here's a follow up. Um, hey Celeste, it's Christine from Beachbody. I wanted to see how you were liking Shakeology and what you thought of the workouts. Would love to get a chance to catch up. Thanks in advance. That's something Elisa had shared on the team page. Do you remember that guys? Yeah. She said she was adding that to her leads that she said thanks in advance. And she said it had gotten them to kind of um, respond to her. Okay. Okay. So those are a couple, but yes, always, I always text an email and here I'll even show you an email. Okay. Um, uh Oh, <laughs> uh -oh. here's my truancy letter from Texas. We get these every year. Okay. Mm. Rot row. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that's recorded. I better be careful. Okay. Hold on one second. Let me see if I can find one. Okay, here's one. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of, um, and I think there's scripts in the file section. You guys, I promise a website is coming. We went a completely different direction because I got a hold of someone's training, but Laura has to completely recreate it. So it's a lot more in depth. I think there's <laughs> training in there. So it'll be worth the wait. I promise you. Um, Okay, so can you see that? Yeah. Is that good? Okay, and I, you guys, I swear there's a document in there. Let me go look on the team page. Oh, sorry, crap, you're trying to look at that. Um, file section. Oh, look, it's Abby. <laughs> what did I say? Uh -oh. I don't know. It's from a post. Oh. File. What happened? It changed. Where's, oh, there it is on the left. Okay. Invitation guide. Oh, that's what Michelle sent. That's fantastic. That's from Upgrade. Oh my gosh. It's so good. Um, okay. I need to add invite to customer. I've got it in my Word doc. I will, I'm sorry. I will share that with you. But again, I, I, the thing I do is I make it personal to each person. Okay. Like just try to make them know that I'm um, caring about them. So I will copy and paste my text so I can go through and knock them out. But then I'll take, obviously I change their name. <laughs> then I, um, you know, so like this person, I said, I'm so excited you were trying Shakeology with a 30 day free trial, but not everybody does that. So I might be, I'm so excited you're trying the 30 day free trial. You know, or I'm so excited that you got the all annual access COD. Okay, so I will go into my messages. Now, please, like, 
Okay. Um, okay, here, this is just one. This is a girl I used to do a Bible study with the first time I was here. Okay, there is no talk about Beachbody, but it has been ages since we talked, and look at that, 2016, December. Okay, here's something I say, too. When I'm going through my friends list, I drop this little nugget in there. You randomly showed up in my feed. Just wanted to say hi and see how you are. Okay? She didn't randomly show up in my feed. You know, but like talking about going through that friends list, Christy Lyons had talked about that, like going through a few a day and just liking and commenting. So she didn't write back. That Like they don't write back a lot, but I wish her happy birthday this morning. And she really does look great. She's young and has two young kids. So I haven't had a chance to write her back because, but look, just a general conversation. No agenda right now. You know, I can put her on my radar. Okay. So that's one. Okay. Here is another one. Um, this is a girl, you guys, I'm going to tell you something. Start connecting. Like for those that are married, you need to start friend requesting requesting friend requesting go into your husband's page and start friend requesting his friends i have three girls right now that he went to school with in chattanooga some are from grade school some are from high school because i'm just like oh my gosh hey you went to school with lincoln oh my gosh yes we went to bright together we went to red bank conversation starter then i'll go lincoln who's vicky perkins because she's like in my challenge group right now he's like oh she went to red bank that's vicky so and so and he'll tell me something about her and then I'll be like oh yeah Lincoln told me or like one girl was like oh my gosh did Lincoln tell you I was super shy no way la 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 you know and then it's like so this girl is from school and I now she's telling me that she can't do it because I said we've had chit chat conversations and I think I one time mentioned briefly what I did okay and she actually messaged Lincoln about something random and said I love following your wife so you can read that. I'm glad it went better than expected. She had surgery and I followed up. Hey, how was surgery? Cause I looked and I'll show you a sauna in a minute and I suck at tracking. Okay. Um, but you know, I know I briefly mentioned in the past about my online health and fitness challenges. They are super awesome right now. Lots of energy and knowledge. I'm inviting now for my main group. Want to give it a shot. Then I was like, Oh my gosh, I can tell her Vicki Perkins and Julie Brooks are in my current group. But she said she's going to have not have television or internet for a month. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to follow up in a month or maybe three weeks or June. Okay. So <coughs> that right. Is that good? Is that okay? All right. Let me find another one. Um, okay. Sarah O'Connell. Okay. This girl, I've never talked to her in my life, but she's a mutual friend of, I think, a girl in my challenge group. So sometimes I'll go in, and I'm very bad at connecting with new people. I'm going to tell you that right now. We all have these flaws. I do not go in and friend request every single day. I don't know that. I think I've sent two friend requests this week. That's how bad I've been. Okay? I'm really bad at that. Okay? But Sarah, let's go look at her page so I can find out who. I don't even know how. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Oh, yeah. So this girl is in my, these are my neighbors. That I don't talk to a lot. I did see him this morning at Good Morning Haas. And this girl's in my challenge group right now. She's Her son plays football with Lincoln. And she does R&D. And we kind of started talking back and forth last year. And I'm like, you work out all the time. You just need to do Shakeology and get in one of my groups. So she does. Here's something else about challenge groups. She does Orange Theory. But she drinks Shakeology. So you have to do Shakeology or you don't get in my groups. But if you do another workout, that's okay. Because I'm getting home, like, I'm, I'm running my business, so I'm getting home direct from you, okay? And you're being active, okay? And she's a coach now. So that's just food for thought, too. But here's her friend. She's liked a couple of my posts, I think, because I've liked a couple of her posts. So I just wished her happy birthday this morning. So I do this all the time. Are you doing anything fun to celebrate? Have a great day. Never talked to her. Oh, because here's a good one. Okay, hold on. La, 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 let me find one. Okay, here's one. Oh, that's a coach. Ew. This is a, okay, doesn't matter. Okay. Um, this lady has, we started, we became friends in December. She is friends with some people that I was paddle boarding with that I need to get back to. So we just started chit-chatting, okay? Um, just, I won't get into it all, but I've asked her like five times to be in a group, okay? 
Um, you know, working, I'm on the way to the gym, familiar with those speech body programs, anyone pass me the info. So you can see she doesn't write back and I keep just following up. So I told her, so let's get back today. See, I keep following up. I keep following up. I shared the Shakeology video twice because she forgot to watch it. Okay. So Wednesday, hello there. I wanted to follow up again. I know you had shown interest in the past about doing one of my groups. I don't have anyone starting until the 22nd, but there's a lot of exciting stuff happening and people can jump board now to be ready end of May. New programs, new Shakeology flavors, etc. Yes, I can join for the one on the 22nd and I will check those new flavors. I can tell you about the new flavors. It is vegan vanilla and vegan cafe latte. What did you think of the Shakeology video? Yeah. I sent, it was great. I have to go to work now. We can chat later today. What time? Because I'm like, they say later today, what time? She didn't write back. So I followed up Thursday. Wanted to follow up since I did not hear back from you. Sorry, came gone late from class. She's, I think there's, um, she's like, his, not like Colombian or something. So there's a little bit of a language barrier. I'll look for you at 4.30 today. Shoot me a message when you're free. This, so, I will do. But then I never heard back from her. And then we got sidetracked with Lincoln. So I'll follow up again today. Okay, there's an example. Um, okay, this lady, she ignores me all the time, but I'll keep inviting her. She liked a post of mine. She showed up in my feed. She loves health and fitness. I think she teaches classes. So you can just see how many times, 2015. All right. Oh, I think she liked my page when I actually worked with it. Look, followed up, follow up, message after message after message. So see that. May, September, February 2016. Um, so that's when she finally wrote back. Have you ever thought about broadening, like I said, this is about doing a coaching. Have you ever thought about taking our expertise and reaching out, taking your, our expertise, no, I'm not expert, reaching out social media. There's so many people out there to help. Just want to throw it out there. Have a good day. I thought about it. What do you have in mind? I'm affiliated with Beachbody, but we are all independent coaches. This is our platform. I'm pretty awesome to be affiliated with the top fitness trainers in the world. I have a couple super quick videos that explain a heck of a lot better than I do. Mind if I send them your way? Go ahead. This one explains coaching in general. The next one is just funny, but great perspective. That's when I used to use Trey's video, but we don't use him anymore. So she never looked at it. Sorry, not interested in selling. It's no big deal. I just wanted to throw it out there just to let you know I don't like selling either. I share my journey to help people that need it, like a mom in Washington who wants to get started, not sure how, needs some accountability and guidance, and I provide the tools and support. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Enjoy the beach. So months, nothing. And then she wished me a birthday, like Kim, right now. You had all those people that wished you a happy birthday. Um, okay, whatever. Nothing, nothing. October, February 2nd. Thursday. She ignores me, but I keep going back to her because I think she'll be a, like, you know, those chicken list people or coaches that you wish would be on your team. She ignores me all the time, but doesn't mean I'm not going to stop going after her or invite it because she would be great. Motivational posts, workout posts, healthy recipes on her page. She is someone that I want to be a part of that. Okay. Um, Okay, this girl, she started ignoring me again. She, she was interested. I've been talking to her for like a year. Melanie, I have no idea how we met. Hold on one second. I'm just kind of, how did we meet? Oh my gosh, I don't even know. See, I always go back. Oh, she liked my page 2016. See, maybe I need to go back. To, well, I don't use my page anymore very well. So I've just looked, reached out. Okay, she said in 2016, that she was interested in maybe doing core to force or how did you like the core? I'm thinking about trying it out because she was following me. Message, 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 ignore, 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 ignore. January, February, March, April, Thursday. <laughs> I invited her to my challenge group. Okay. Again, hope all is well. I just wanted to reach out again as I am doing invites for my next online health and fitness challenge. Not sure if you're working out at the moment, but I'm trying to gear up myself for the summer. Would you be interested this time around? No pressure whatsoever. I just love to invite people because they are fun. So, but you know why I keep inviting her? Because she keeps liking, she likes posts on my page. Okay. So here's something too. Okay. And I'll get back to messages. You guys, I'm so bad, especially when I was in Kutakana. Every like and comment's a conversation. I'm done with this page. I actually did this yesterday. So it's done. So I wad it up and I throw it away. But I wanted to show it to you guys. Here are conversations I need to be having. Look at this one two, three, four, five. Some of the names might be repeats because every time I get a lot of likes or comments, I write them down. 
Okay, so yesterday I'm like, Christine, you've been slacking. So I messaged all these people and liked and commented on their page. Okay, so this is my this is my goal this weekend. So Kim, did you see Carl's post? What are you doing this weekend? Um, about like, so my goal is to get through these this weekend. God help me. Okay, but even like even if you do a page a day, it's better. You know, like and it might not always be an invite. Like Ross Hecox liked my post, but. He's not going to challenge group. I, I used to work with him in DC. Like, but I'm going to go say hi anyways, because then you just, that's what you do. You just still talk to people. Um, okay. Thank you, Laura. There's the top volume producers, guys. <laughs> okay. So hold on. Let me find another one. This girl has never, again, we chit chat. Look, look how many times she's ignored me, but she liked to post the other day. I had not talked to her since, look, December 2015. Did not talk until Jane, I messaged her again, March 2016. I messaged her June 2016. November 2016, she ignores me. And then get Thursday. Why not? I mean, they're just, in, it's okay if they ignore you, you just move on. But she liked something on my page. It's been ages, you came across my page the other day and I just wanted to say hi, congratulations on becoming an aunt. Because I looked at her page and her brother was literally going to have a baby. So never let the ignore um, stop you because one day they might reply back. You know what I'm saying? And it took two minutes to send that message. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. And I made the shot. Okay. Let's see who else. And then Abby, I'm going to have you go in here too. I'm not going to take up all this time because I know time is valuable. Okay. So here's one. Okay. Look. Okay. So I've also, the West Point crew hasn't worked as well. I did have his old roommate drinking Shakeology. He stopped. I did have a girl in a challenge group, but she's got some stuff going on, and that's totally cool. So she stopped Shakeology. This is another classmate of Lincoln's. Um, never said hi, ever, nothing. Her birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday, Laura. I know we've never personally chatted, but saw your awesome runs. She just did two marathons in less than a week. And who doesn't want to be wished a happy birthday? Have a great day. So you can kind of put that spin on it too. You know, I always go back to um, our friend Beth and Kim, like she is the biggest celebrator of birthdays. And since I've met her, I'm like, your birthday's important. So I want people to feel like their birthday's important. I mean, she freaking, we wore a crown. She went out and so, were you there, Kim, when we wore the crown for her birthday in DC? Were you there? I can't, you're, you're muted. No, I wasn't there, but. Her birthday is the whole freaking month. No, so, but I think it, it has taught me that our birthdays matter and I want people to feel special, all right? Think about like when Kim, you got what, 212 happy birthday wishes and she was flabbergasted and I'm like, people care. So that's what she just said, thanks so much. We'll have to meet at our reunion next year. And then I saw your beautiful view from yesterday. What do you do for work? She was somewhere. I went to the 10 year reunion. It was so cool to meet some of Lincoln's classmates. I met him right after he graduated, okay? So she'll be on my radar. I need to follow up with her because she did not write back, but I will. She, she isn't, she's active. She did two marathons. You should see her page. Oh my gosh, it was awesome. Okay, um, here's someone I've invited 800 times. She has not read her messages yet. She's a friend of a mutual friend that I used to, that I, when I lived in DC, so I would go into my DC crew and Purdue people and I would like, how many mutual friends do they have? And I think we had her husband and her, so I just friend requested her. We connected to Michelle and I never said hi. So hi. I do that sometimes too. When I send a friend request and never say hi. So I'm assuming you know Michelle from the Hyatt. I lived in DC several years ago and met her through the Purdue alumni organization. Her and John are so nice. I saw you were just in Denver. I love it there. A college roommate used to live there, and we visited several times. Good times. Like I said, just wanted to introduce myself. Have a good afternoon. Thanks for reaching out, Michelle and John. A great connection. Glad we were able to connect virtually. I enjoy your posts. Who knew she was watching me? Who knew? Crazy, right? Um, okay, so chit-chat, chit-chat. Okay, April or August 2016. Okay, so I was doing the health bet. So Kim, talk about a cold invite. That was our first health bet. So I just sent her a... I don't do voice message anymore. I invited her. She, I invited her again in October. I said happy birthday in November. It's like she ignored me, but then I kept asking. December 2016, I said hello. January 3rd, I said hello. January 14th, I said hello. I asked her again. I saw you come across, I see you come across my page from time to time, and I just wanted to throw it out there. If you ever want to join one of my virtual groups, 
I would sure love to have you. That is all. I make it really lighthearted. I'll take a look at the info. So I just tell her about, you know, here's something, like I always tweak this. The way we do them every month is done through, well, this is when I was, I'm not using the app right now, but I think I'm going to go back to it. Whatever. Um, super cool. We all do a Beachbody program through Chuckology Daily and check, check into the group for support. I suppose daily, sometimes more nutrition tips, encouragement, recipes, motivation, pep talks, all sorts of stuff. Everyone is super supportive of one another, and we try to reach a similar goal. I have a group of now of about 56, which is crazy. Wow. I didn't know I had a big one. Ignored me. January 18th. Her house looks pretty. I asked her if she would come decorate my house. I just wanted to say hi or follow up to a message. She ignored me. January 21st. She ignored me. January 22nd. She started Orange Theory. I appreciate your offer. I'm going to focus on that for now. Good for you. February. Hey, I know you're doing Orange Theory, but we're doing a new group. Okay. Oh, no, that's when we were trying to do that live channel. Okay. March 5th. She went somewhere. I asked her. Oh, she went to Mardi Gras. How is Mardi Gras? Hey, Sherry, April 3rd, I'm inviting again. Thursday, inviting again. She hasn't seen it. So see, I keep inviting. She's, a, she's doing Orange Theory. So she might need, if one day she's going to need that accountability. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't stop. I'm going to keep inviting you until I break you down. Um, because there was a girl, and she sent me the message when I was in Punta Cana. And then, Abby, I'm going to let you take over. Um, that, let me see if I can find one more that oh there's a girl that blocked me so if you go oh what happened the other day it was blocked uh, see yeah she's blocked i can't get to her page she blocked me it just shows the message isn't that funny <laughs> <laughs> okay so um oh she messaged me and she said christine and it gives me tears she's like i am at the 160 mark and i have not been there since before i had my kids who are in grade school, okay? And she said, I cannot thank you enough for staying on top of me until I said yes. Because she joined last November and I don't know how many times I invited her to do my group. And she was a friend of a friend. Um, she's actually, a, well, it doesn't matter who, she's a friend of a friend. And I invited her and I invited her and she said, no, 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 no. And then she said yes. So she's a coach and she would be such a good coach. She refuses to do anything, but I get, I've gotten a couple referrals from her. So that, that was however long it took me to invite her. She started in November and she said, thank you for bugging me. And I get that a lot. Or thank you for being persistent. Karen Peasel, you know how many times I asked her? We started talking in 2015. I think I asked her 20 times. I just, and I'm not being, I mean, some people might think I'm a pest and that's fine. But my genuine, if there is a need there, if there is a need, they show any type of need. Our first conversation with Karen, what was, hi, how are you? We connected was I have my joints hurt so bad. Some days are so hard just to move. Shakeology. I mean, done. Let's talk. Okay. All right. Um, happy birthday, Connie. Like very, um, I'm trying to see. Okay. That's enough. So Abby, do you want to take over and show here? Let me unshare my screen. Oh, wait, here, let me show you a sauna really quick. God, this is going on longer than I thought. I am so, so sorry. Okay. I did not utilize Teensy as I should, so I stopped using it. Renee, Renee, Raina Odell talked about Asana. I've heard her talk about Asana like two years ago, okay? There is a learning curve. I had to watch videos, okay? So I'm not going to go into it, but what I like about it better, and you can see I'm so behind, is that I can go to one page and see my tasks. So you can see <laughs> I have not been following up. And sometimes what I've been trying to do is even if they're on a piece of paper, I will add them. Like there's a way to put your um, Facebook people in there. And if you want to use this, I can link, I can have Lincoln help you with that. Cause I couldn't do it. It's, it's, I can't be bothered, but he put my Facebook people in there. And if I get a new friend, I add them. Okay. If I get a new customer or customer lead, I add them. So don't worry about this stuff because it's confusing and it's still confusing to me. But my point is when you hit on my tasks, it shows you So like that Sarah Harmon that I messaged the other day and she didn't write back. So I'll go check out her page May 24th. Okay. I apparently did not follow up with this girl. I did not. Oh crap. I need to talk to her. She'd be a good coach. But you Christine, see, you can see all of that in Teamsy. I don't, I, this, I, yeah, I just, you know, like I liked it and then I didn't like it. I, you know, it's like changing my underwear. I'm so, but then I use this, like I am not organized guys. My desk is a disaster, but I don't care. 
Because if I wasted time being organized, I wouldn't get anything done. And that's just my opinion. Like that just, it, it, I don't want to say it works for me because there's always work for improvement, but it's, it's doing okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that is that, but I, that is a sauna. And when I focus on it, it's really good. Um, and it's free. So that was something I did not know. So, I mean, anyways, okay, I'm going to stop sharing. So Abby, if you want to take over, and I hope this is helpful. Oh my gosh, I hope this is helpful. Did that help? Did you say Asana is free? Yeah. Did that help guys? Just to kind of hear what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Asana is free. Yeah, I didn't know it was free. Oh, I swear I thought I talked about that on the page. <sighs> you might have. No, I know there's a lot. And I like, That's there's so many, I could post in the page 20 times a day for ideas and thoughts. And I know things get overlooked, but I promise I won't waste you. Like, I'm never trying to waste your time. Okay, Abby, go. For sure. Of course. Um, one, I've never done this before. So sharing my screen. Go down to the bottom of the, oh, you just did. Oh, never mind. I, mean, I can follow directions most of the time, but just not all the time. Okay, so there's my message from Mindy. Um, I, I guess my theory is similar to Christine's as far as like who I go to talk to. Um, like for example, this guy, this is the guy, his wife is actually one of my challengers. Um, I went to high school with him way back in the day and he does research on mice for diabetes. Uh, he is ridiculously intelligent and very, very smart. And we got to talking, uh, he's kind of a smart ass. And so we, I forgot my son's in the car. Um, he was asking me about Facebook live and I'm sorry, I don't have my mouse, so I can't really like scroll through things really quickly. So we were talking, uh, about Facebook live. We wanted to do something with our church. And I was like, great. So when are you going to jump on board with your wife? Cause your wife is doing really well. And so then I remembered that Josh had his group that he was doing for a bunch of guys. So I went through and just kind of explained, you'll need to be doing Shakeology. Your wife's got 21 day fix. They live uh, in a rural area. So the internet's not so great. Um, but he does work, which this is a tip I learned from Shannon that, um, you know, when you can get to wireless, you just download seven workouts. So he works obviously at a place where he can get um, internet. So he's able to download um, any of the workouts and be able to have the seven workouts on hand. And so anyway, just told him a little bit about Josh explained, you know, this is blah, blah, blah. So basically, sure. I'll look up for the information, whatever. Um, so he and I don't have like this established relationship besides history from high school. He's a friend of my brother's from high school. So I know a little bit about him. I kind of just get straight to the point and that I don't like, I'm not going to beat around the bush with him because that's just not the way he is. Does that make sense? So that was David. Um, let's see who else. Sorry. Um, mm -mm. Okay, these are all my coaches I'm following up with. Sorry, guys. Oh, Candace. Let's talk about Candace. So, not Lincoln. Let's talk about Lincoln. Um, so, Candace is a girl that I worked with at Starbucks. And um, she's in, has had a lot of health struggles. Has lost 90 pounds on her own. Um, like, I've been bugging her since the beginning of time. Um, but I, I just love her. I love her. I adore her. Um, she has a roommate who they, they live together. And again, somebody I worked with at Starbucks, um, I was explaining that, uh, basically having one of them sign up as a coach cause they're roommates and then they could get their bags of Shakeology at a discounted price. So they were working with their, doing their taxes, blah, blah, blah. Here's where we're at. So thanks for thinking of us, but just, just not going to allow. Okay, great. Um, no worries. You know where I'm at, blah, blah, blah. So then I see that she has a message that she's in the hospital getting some stuff scanned for her bladder. And I'm like, what the crap is going on with you? So I I'm not like ignoring her. 
I'm not totally vomiting beach body, but like that's a red flag for me and makes me want to make sure that whatever is happening, I am in her life and in her my, line of sight all the time. Actually, the Starbucks that I'm sitting in front of is her Starbucks where she works. So um, I may have to go in and see if she's working and grab a cup of coffee or whatever. But um, she's just in my line of sight always. Um, so anyway, random offers of help. I don't know a lot about nutrition. I'm still learning, but you know, she does a ton. She drinks a ton of water. Like she's been told to reduce her water intake. Like she does like 400 ounces of water, like almost to the extreme. Um, Christine, you're the only face I can see, but uh, yeah, it's a lot. So that's why I was like, okay, let's do some celery. Let's do cucumbers. Let's do some more greens in your diet, blah, blah, blah. So that's where the conversation ended with her. Um, Sorry, guys. Slow and steady wins the race today. Is there like a specific thing that you guys struggle with or had questions on, or is it just, is this helpful? Golly, apparently Lincoln is the only one I can talk to. Abby, I was hoping you could elaborate on how you're getting such high success club points every month. Sure. Um, to be honest, um, I, I don't have like anything that I'm doing that's so um, different than what I was doing months before. The only thing that's different a little bit now is that um, I went through the raise the bar group and I was more consistent in uh, making sure that I was doing posts that had invites in them. And at, uh, so I would have a talk about, you know, like today, it was absolutely crazy when my life, I sh what I could do is say, you know, mom life, this is how, um, you know, this is how I can work at home, blah, blah, blah. And then I should have put an invite to the coaching. Um, event that's coming up on Monday. Um, so like being able to use my posts and making sure that there's always an invite somewhere, whether it's a free group, whether it's a coaching opportunity, whether it's my challenge group, that was something that I kind of took away that I hadn't been doing prior to. Um, but to be honest with you, um, it's my consistent posts and um, it's referrals. Like if you look on my screen now, um, so Sunita, is actually a referral from my aunt. Um, she's been, sorry, um, she's been a, a consistent Shakeology person. She is the one, Christine, that I sold the Energize packets to and uh, Boost. Christine was making fun of me because she told me once not to sell Shakeology packets. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm not gonna sell anything else or I'm not gonna just give away anything else. So I sold her Energize packets for $2. Is that amazing? <laughs> Like those I'll throw in as like a little prize. And I'm like, the fact that you charge for Energize, that's well, the owner. It's only because, and I do, I throw it in for my challengers who win as well. But like, you know, I, I posted about Energize and how I love it. And people are like, oh, I don't know. And I was the same way. I didn't want to try it on my own. I didn't want to buy a big giant tub because I didn't do workout stuff. And it wasn't until my husband got it that I was like, okay, well, I guess I am in love with this liquid gold. So um, yeah, I would say raise the bar was something that kind of put me up to a different level and it wasn't so much like the content was so, you know, new and groundbreaking. It was just that it was the consistency of, I had to post every night. I had to make sure that I was, um, checking in with my group, um, and my group, meaning like my free group and that I had my success partner in the group as well. Um, but like, as I look down my list, so Rianne, the next girl, um, she was a, a, she's been a customer forever with another coach. And she just said, it's a girl I went to high school with and I don't connect with her. Like our worlds are just not the same. And so I just talked to her. I was like, I, and at first it was like, okay, I don't know who your coach is. So I'm not going to step on your toes. However, these are the things that I would recommend. And then she brought up the, well, I don't connect with her at all you know, can I switch to you? And I'm like, okay, she's not purchased anything for me, but I still keep checking in. Um, and so it's, it's, I want to say that it's the consistency in my posts and the realness that comes out 
that people feel like they can connect with me. Um, you know, Hannah down the list is someone who um, we've known each other for a while. She's a friend of my cousin who's actually in my challenge group and she likes every post. She loves every post. Um, she doesn't always comment, which is fine, but I've just kind of popped into her world and you know, I asked her about her vacation. I said, where, where she went to Gulf Shorts. I'm like, Brian wants to go there. I don't know anything about it. Tell me where you stayed, blah, blah, blah. So then it turned into, um, I said, I, I actually, I think, I don't know where I invited her. I'll, I'll go back and show you because her conversation is kind of interesting. She's someone that I've known. I just, I, I don't have a close relationship with her. Um, but, and honestly, I don't know where I, I don't know where I went with her. Um, I gotta go back. Kim, is this helpful? Yes. Okay. Um, so she lives on a farm and I grew up on a farm and I, there's clearly, I live in the city now. I can drive to a Starbucks in five minutes and my kids aren't exposed to, you know, pigs and cow and sheep and whatever, all the stuff that I was. And so, so it just makes me really sad. Um, and I know, oh, the other thing is she had, she had mentioned her daughter forever ago was at Riley doing some stuff. And I was like, I don't remember. Um, oh, my mom posts. Okay. That's where we started back up. Uh, love reading your posts, IEP meeting. Uh, and she's also a teacher in preschool. Um, so then she went on to tell me a little bit about her daughter having some surgeries. It's, you know, it's whatever. Um, a teacher teaching going back to school uh, raising a teenager so much juggling IQ yeah I wish I could make time I just uh, I'm making time for you I wish I could you're amazing yeah no I'm not no and so um, that's when I just kind of go into a little bit of the conversation everyone has so much going on sometimes we all oh, we never know the full story I remember you going to Riley with Bella but I don't remember what's going on so um, I said in my house, it's usually trash. There's laundry it never gets done, which is so true. Um, uh, and I would show you my car now. So you guys realize that my traveling car, my car is like my house. It's just on wheels. Um, I think you're doing a great job with your kids because she's always out doing stuff with the kids on the farm. Um, they're always involved in activities. Um, and then that's when I went into offering about personal development because if, as moms, we don't take the time to take care of ourselves, let alone pick up a dang book. And that's so much of what I'm seeing with people that I talk to. There's just no confidence in themselves and their abilities. And it's sometimes all wrapped up in being a mom or all wrapped up into being a wife. And there's no balance of you're still a, a human in there too. And so you can, you can take 10 minutes to pour into yourselves. Um, oh, and this is my favorite line. Uh, I said, so, even though we love our families, they aren't most likely going to say, mom, go take care of yourself. Um, and so she was like, oh yeah. And so that thought resonates <coughs> with her because, you know, let's be honest, no one ever really tells you as a mom, go, go sit down and put your feet up. Cause I never did that to my mom. I do now because I realize what she's doing. Um, blah, blah, blah. Is it just helpful for you to read my responses? Hey, Abby, one thing I didn't do. Did, wait, did she yeah. order yet? Oh, no. Okay. Okay, great. Will you, one thing I didn't do. These are, these are excellent. I love seeing the dialogue that you're having. Will you share one where you like got him to order? Mm, sure. Just like, just like whatever your last challenge pack was, if it was in the message thread, just be like, okay, we talked for a week. We talked for a month. We talked for whatever. Here's how I closed. Yes. I hate to say that word. That doesn't, that doesn't, you know what I'm saying though? Yes. Not just how you transitioned from that conversation to here we go. Yes. Thank and you. as soon as I can get my computer to cooperate, I got to remember who it was. Um, Um, oh, Jessica. Okay. So Jessica is a police officer's wife who was doing P90X3 on her own. And, uh, I just invited her into my challenge group because one, she's a police officer's wife and I don't know her. Um, and then 
uh, ultimately, like she was listening to everybody talk about Shakeology and the all access. Um, and actually, yeah, and we, I've kind of laid the groundwork a little bit for being a coach as well. Um, I don't know much of her backstory, so I'm still trying to learn it. Um, this is the only one I can think of right now off the top of my head. And I'm sorry, my computer is moving really slow. Um, so, sorry guys. So there, I'm explaining things. <laughs> Come on computer. Come on. So she, I think, asked me, um, sorry, what do I need to do? Okay, so that was after I'd asked her to be in the group. Sure, I'll try it. Sweet, which was not the, expect the result I was expecting. Um, okay, so then she jumps in to the group. She's done it four days in a row. She's juggling a two-year-old and a two-month-old, which I didn't realize. Um, you asked for her email? Yeah, because uh, I don't have her. She wasn't a customer. Good grief. So I didn't have her email to be able to send her to the app um, to get her in the challenge group. Right. Sorry. My, I've asked. Uh, I hate the challenge or the app, but my every single one of the people in my group loved it. So that's why I'm sticking with it. Uh, I, I do both. Yeah. I have some people that love it and some that hate it. So I just do both. Okay. Yeah, but doesn't that take up so much time? No. Why would it take extra time? I mean, if you're posting in the app and you're posting on Facebook, you copy and paste. It's the same post. Oh, so you've got, you've got, you don't have everybody in both. You just have the people. No, that I like have Facebook. everybody in both. But there are certain half of them only use the app and the other half use Facebook. So, <clears throat> okay. It's kind of like being on Facebook and Instagram, which I'm not on Instagram. You know, it's kind of playing those two social media platforms at the same time. So, it doesn't really take up more time. Okay. Um Let's see. Sorry. Oh my Lord. So anyway, basically uh, the conversation with her, she had started asking about Shakeology. Um, and then I kind of gave her the rundown of, of what the shakes cost. Oh my gosh, you guys. And um, let's see. Oh, see, look right here where it says I have, uh, she started all access because um, we got her signed up with the all access challenge pack and Dustin is her husband. So her husband started doing the workouts too. Um, sorry, Christine, I'm not really helping with your, uh, your thought process. Um, no, you are. You, the fact that you're like just talking it out, I think that helps people too. Don't you think, right, Kim? Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so here's the other thing. So we played the game of whose customer do you get to be? Um, and so I signed her up under my husband because um, I've been trying to start qualifying for one star and so I'm trying to get Brian to diamond. So I wanted her to be under him as his coach because she's already got the challenge back. Sorry, she's not a coach yet. Um, but if she did sign as a coach, it would be a buffer for um, his side as well. Um, I'm sorry, guys. What, was, yeah. she, was she just posting that she was doing P90X3 on her timeline, or did you, was she in a free group with you? Uh, no, she actually, uh, I posted some workout that I was doing and she like commented below so she was watching and so i was like oh that's so great how long have you been doing it and then she was like well i only made it through seven weeks so then i was like bing you need the accountability so then that's when the the message came out and kind of started everything because i've i've really like since i added her i've not really had much of a conversation with her so it just kind of opened the door okay thank you no problem kim is this helpful for you 
Mindy, anybody else? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um, fix it. Oh, she had another coach. That's right, because she obviously had purchased P90X at some point. So I had to get her switched to me in the meantime, which is why I really critical to start this for now when you may need that coach um, for that person to sign up as a coach if you've got some um, Ryan sent me an email okay Christine is this what you're looking for yeah oh, sorry I thought I was on mute sorry I was like commenting on I'm, I'm behind in my challenge group um, yeah, just like something you're having that conversation and then they're like, okay, I'm ready to order. Like how you like yeah. transition very, I mean, that's just it. Cause yeah. I show conversations and I didn't show one where they're like, yes, I'm ready. Yeah. And I, I don't, I can't think of another one off the top of my head right now, mostly because I'm, I'm having mom brain right now. And this that's internet okay. is well, that's, you want to stop screen sharing and then if people have questions, we can answer them and then we can wrap up because it's already been an hour. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. Don't be sorry. Um, I don't need to do this, do I? How do I stop? Oh, there it is. Got yeah, it. Shoo. Okay. Anybody have any questions? Well, we lost. Where'd Lauren go? She's like, I'm done with you people. <laughs> so, Abby, of your 22 points that you got last mm -hmm. month, mm -hmm. how many of them were referrals? Mm. To be honest with you, Kim, I'd have to look it up. Like approximately, would you say half or would you just say like two or three? Um, I would say probably half and most of them came from Mindy, who's on this call right now, until she realized that she could be working a business. Right, right. Mindy, Mindy. Mindy. <laughs> <laughs> She's also dealing with a plumber, so she may not really be on. Oh. <laughs> but I just want it to be recorded. It actually <laughs> stopped raining here. I know, it stopped raining here too. Like, it's crazy. I see, I see some sun. Was it that bad? Christine, it's been raining since like Tuesday. Yeah, Non-stop. Breaking out the ark. They were Everything is flooded. So wait, I mean, you came from Puntacana to more rain? <laughs> I was so pissed I, I seriously i got off the shuttle bus on a monday night at like 11 o'clock or whatever and i'm like it's raining here <laughs> and then seriously non-stop rain it's been it's insane like that's all anybody can talk about and the farmers are like talking about how to replant oh and, no i mean it's like a really big deal my dad is miserable right now miserable Hey, so Christine, I have wrote down a couple of the things that you said, like what made you decide to try a beach body? Thanks for an advance. Um, show up, uh, you showed up in my news feed. I wanted to see how you are. Um, was there anything else like other catchphrases? Yeah, one second. Go have fun tomorrow. Hold on. I'm just having one second. Let me finish this text. Abby, are you going to people's pages and liking and commenting? On a, yeah. you're doing that consistently. I, I, I scroll the news feed, um, but I'm looking for certain people. Um, I haven't okay. gotten away from, like, checking out who's liking um, on my posts and going specifically to target them. Uh, I'm, I'm running into the, um, like, I have a lot of coaches. I have a lot of current customers. Um, you know, a, a lot of people kind of along those lines. Um, oh. I know one. Uh, so I had a girl who was another police officer's wife who I talked to her briefly. Um, she's a nurse. She works 12 hour shifts, had a long, like her husband, they kind of work opposite shifts. They've got a little girl. Um, she was one of my referrals, um, from this other, like this Jessica girl that I talked to. Um, but, but what's interesting about it is that she is now, like her husband came up to Brian and told Brian, like, thank your wife for what she's doing for my wife because I, I couldn't motivate her. And I was like, no crap, you can't motivate your wife. Huh. <laughs> Cause you know, she's a nurse. She knows her stuff. She's going to, you know, handle business on her own terms. 
um, but she's rocking it right now. I don't know what that had to do with anything. I'm I'm looking. Here's something. So I, I've got to find off the cuff <laughs> that I sent. Let me go scroll. So give me a minute. So just something completely I random. Abby, I'm having a really hard time hearing you. Okay, maybe uh, something you could do is uh, with your catchphrases, like make a, a list of them. Okay, sure. You know, I've got those three, but um, just if what do you have? Um, I've got what made you decide to try Beachbody? Thanks in advance. Uh, and then uh, you showed up in my news feed. I just wanted to see how you are. Okay. Yeah, those are really good. Okay, something about, so I get the whole, okay, here, here's my difference. And so this is recorded. So if I make anybody mad, it's, I, I, I don't want to say I don't care, but I don't care. So here's the difference in scrolling the feed mindlessly and then saying you don't have time to work or scrolling the feed mindlessly. And to me, what makes me sad is that people are so busy scrolling the news feed, watching everybody else. And I'm not talking just coaches. I'm talking like people. You have that person that likes your posts all the time. And then you will casually invite them or just give them a word of encouragement and they don't take it. And then they continue, like, they're just so, that's the one thing about social media is we get so caught up in watching other people live that I don't feel like we live. Do you understand what I'm saying? Or we don't work. So, and another reason, it's like there is definitely value in scrolling the feed. What I don't like about Facebook is, is my feed is so jacked up. I can't do most recent. I can't do, it just, like, Abby, you randomly popped up, Okay. Um, and it might be the, the next person that might pop up might be someone from 10 years ago. Like there's no rhyme or reason to my feed, which is why I don't scroll it. Okay. Um, like, will I take five minutes? Yes. But I, um, I've gotten a little bit away from Michelle does the friends list. I still do it a little bit, but that's why I go to people's pages and do the like and comment because that way. So a lot of these likes on here are new. You know, at least I had said something about that. It's the same 20 people commenting and liking, but we need to go and put our face in their face so they know who we are because, um, let's see. Um, okay. There's one. Um, Kimberly Stakeman. I don't even know who that is. So that's not a name that's been regularly on my page, but there was something I posted that she liked. So maybe I had gone to her page and liked it, or maybe one of her friends had liked it. So she saw it too. So like, I, I get the newsfeed thing. I, you know, I know it's a joke or whatever, but it's because I know that's all people do and they don't, and they complain that they can't make success club. I'm like, because you didn't invite anybody because you scrolled the newsfeed all day. Um, but that, that, that purposeful, like, I'm going to go see who I can love on and give some encouragement to totally get that. So please don't think that, I mean, it's funny, but it's funny, but I'm like, again, I learned that from Christine Dwyer when I was a brand new coach. Like I didn't make it up. Um, and it stopped me in my tracks. Like when she said that, I was probably scrolling the news feed as a platinum edge when she said it. I know I was because I remember being like, oh my God. okay. <laughs> um, so anyways, okay, showed up in my feed. What made you decide to, thanks in advance. So I want to give, if Elisa's watching this, I want to give her credit on that. She is the one that shared that. I will kind of go through and look. Um, some things I say, I'm like, it'd be really cool to work with you. I think you're awesome. You seem way cool. Like Perfect, perfect. I think some of it is just, we need to know kind of a general idea of what to say and then we can tweak it and make it our own. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, like I do, you know, I do that. I'm like, I was telling Kim yesterday, if I make a new friend and I actually message her that time, I'm going to be like, this sounds so weird, but you are so pretty. Who don't want to be told they're pretty. All right. Cause like there's some pretty people on Facebook. Why not tell them they're pretty? They might think you're a freak show, but I don't care. They are pretty. And then they get to know you. Exactly. And then they're like, she is a freak show. That's it. <laughs> that is so legit she's a freak show you know what i'm saying like, just I like her I just like see her. just little things that because it's so easy to say your kids are cute and they probably are you know but to give think about how like our self-esteem can be so low that like i don't have to tell michelle i like her hair but it rocks so i'm gonna tell her i like her hair because it really does rock and i can't believe that's morning hair because that's not fair um that i right so do you understand what i'm saying like it might be weird and uncomfortable, but I'm going to do it anyways. Well, and I think like Brian was laughing at me last night because we were at Chick-fil-A 
kids were running around like crazy fools. And there was this little boy who was so sweet to both of my kids. And so for any kid to like, know, uh, and clearly William's a little different and he, he's got the visual stuff, you know, like this hearing aids and crazy <clears throat> stuff, but like, he's still a kid and likes to laugh and joke. And this little boy was so sweet and Aww. played with both of them. And I was like looking around and Brian distracted me at the point where I couldn't figure out who his mom was. And he's like, why are you looking like a crazy woman? And I'm like, I need to go find that mom and tell her she's doing a great job because her little boy without being prompted was not afraid of my son was interacting with him. You made me cry. A good mom. Like she, people need to hear that. And he was like, you crazy. I'm like, no, <laughs> because moms need to hear it. Plain and simple. Did you find her? I did not. Oh, uh... <laughs> so mom and Chick-fil-A, if you happen to be, one <laughs> Hey, that's a good post. <laughs> So here's the thing too, I'll tell you really quick and then we're gonna wrap this up. And I think I've told Kim, but Michelle and Mindy, uh, so when I had lunch, when Lincoln and I had lunch with Abby a couple few weeks ago, we were in Indianapolis, something came up and either she said something or I said something. And it, it, the point was, is that Lincoln and I will sit there and we'll have like this exact conversation. And we've gotten to the point where like, that's a good post. Like every, it's so bad that every- it all the time. Huh? You say it all the time. But that right there. But it's legit. It's legit. It is. And I'll write down post ideas. Like I'll be somewhere. I'm like, that is, that's a good post because it's purposeful. It's funny. It's something that people can relate to. Even though you don't know that lady, you're giving her, I mean, just it's, it's giving mom props. It may have a mom think about maybe I need to teach my kid to be more compassionate or it might be like, you know, I teach, I teach my kids this too. So it is funny. <laughs> How many times do we say in Putacana? A lot. A lot. And so. then we sobered up and we're like, yeah, that's not a good post. When you have two ACDCs in your hand, that's <laughs> new. No. You posted it and then you realize that probably wasn't a good post. No. Okay. I hope this helped you guys. Um, and then I will upload the Zoom and share it. Does anybody have any other questions? No, but thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I'm glad. I, I just hoped it helped. Um, and, you know, again, so like Kim, now that you know about that pin post, um, that maybe if you like post on there, then other people start using it again. And I probably didn't explain it very well. Maybe because I was like, I explained it last time. But just start, you know, you, you see, okay, I want to invite this person. So maybe how do I tweak it to her? Or I've invited you know, I have a question. I just randomly post in the group and then nobody responds to me, but <clears throat> well, no, but I'm like, maybe if we have, cause then you can maybe go back to that pin post and there might be something in there already, or yeah. you can see an answer to a question. Like I just went back and I forgot Danielle had answered Elisa's question. And it was an excellent response about having small kids. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, people post in there randomly and that's great. I want people, that's what it's, you know, part of the team page is for is to help each other out. Cause sometimes I purposely not respond because I want other people to step up and give their point of view. Cause I might learn something too. You know what I'm saying? You guys know anything about healthy fit mama or fit healthy mama? I've, I've heard of some of her stuff. Um, I have a, a girl who I can ask. Who, who is she? She's some blogger person. Like, is it trip? Wait. Is she a no, They have a whole line of products. They have a yeah. protein shake and they have all these other things. And I, I'm just learning about it, but there's not a lot of information out there about it. So. Yeah, I'll ask. I think she has a blog. Okay. Well, I'll look at that. Yeah. Okay. I, I can't right. even find the ingredients for the protein shake. That makes me nervous when you can't. Heck yeah. you Google and can't find the back of the, yeah, that's always a red flag to me, right? I know. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Okay. I got to run guys. Um, okay. But Hey, this was okay. Let me stop recording. Okay. Did I stop? Stop recording. Pause recording.